What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. It's another uh, Gear Thursday. I'm going to talk about the Dunlop Mini X volume pedal and talk about volume pedals in general. What I found is a lot of pros use a volume pedal. In fact, I know quite a few that cannot play the rig without one. Uh, another thing about a volume pedal is it goes first in your chain because it's, it's, it's basically like controlling volume of your guitar hands-free. So some guys like the con control freaks like to be able to control their volume but not have to stop playing you know to mess with it other guys develop their whole sound off of building off the volume in other words they might have the amp cranked all the way another thing about a volume pedal is it usually has its own a, a separate output that can go right into a tuner so another thing is you can have a tuner going at all times anytime you feel like tuning you just pull back on the volume pedal, you don't hear anything, and then you can go and tune away and no one will hear it. And you don't have to, you know, have your little clip on, even though I do like those a lot. They're very accurate. Also, I've, I've seen that guys that play humbucker guitars that have separate controls for both pickups. So if you're in the middle there, a lot of guys will kind of play with this, play with all the settings, and they're blending the volumes of the two pickups to get a certain kind of tone that they like, and they get it right at the right volume, so then uh, to turn it down or turn it up is gonna change the tone. So that's another big thing for guys that uh, use Les Pauls, PRSs. You know, so like one, I could just turn the volume down. like that, uh, but then there's also these kind of swells that you'll hear guys do. You strike the chord with no volume. You also have single note kind of stuff. Uh, So sometimes you can create a bit more of like a violin sounding effect where you don't hear that attack in there. You can uh, play with swelling on different kinds of chords. One other thing about this pedal is that it's a mini pedal, which I've been a fan of. Uh, they've, uh, you know, I think maybe I first saw a mini pedal on Tim Pierce's pedal board, the little mini wah. And I thought, great idea, you know, less real estate on the travel, travel boards, your pedal boards that you're going around with. All right, so you would have complete control over your overall volume without having to use your hands at all. Plus, there's some cool little special tricks you can do with one. Plus, it's great for going out to a tuner and just having complete uh, control of your stage volume, you know, at all times. So check them out. Plus, the mini pedal makes it great and convenient. Uh, every Thursday I cover gear, so let me know other gear you'd like to see me cover in the comments below. And thanks for hanging out. We'll see you again soon.